Today I'm going to show you a little bit about Unreal Engine uh, and how to work with specular values in, uh, in specifically for landscapes. So by default this doesn't look bad, it's a okay landscape and let me turn up grass and I'm going to show you why uh, this looks bad. So this is my material instance and uh, let me turn up grass. So as you can see in the distance now we have some sort of glow on the screen and uh, see you can see here there's some some sort of glow and that's because of the specular values and usually we don't touch specular in the pbr materials but in this case we have to and i i got a good trick from unreal sensei's youtube video so we can use press null to to change this uh, let me show you how that works right i made some uh, modification into the open land so then uh, we can simply change that so uh, here we have uh, a specular ratio it's, it's, it's this is by default we can reduce that and we can uh, reduce the specular values on the edges but still uh, we have some specular on the uh, on the on the surface and that's totally fine and we can change use the contrast to like actually blend nicely in between something like that so then uh, it's it's not uh, like uh, completely removing uh, the specular but uh, we have some uh, specular values on the on the surface and and is especially on the closer right that's that's one way to do that and you can see here and i, I can now uh, open the uh, buffer visualization for the specular and we can see in the closer we have the specular values which is important but we don't see that on edges and uh, that's simply remove the uh, problem we had earlier so this is great all right let me add uh, roughness to the ground so it, it it's at some fake wet looking all right so now you can see it doesn't got the effect like we, we don't see the like <laughs> this uh, wetness uh, on the on the ground that, that's because of this specular change and let me work on the specular values to like get a get a decent looking right i think in this case i'm gonna op uh, turn on the grass as well yeah we, we, we cannot see that uh, so then let me work on the specular and let me uh, reduce the effect we had so i'm, I'm gonna increase this so we can uh, have more specular values on the on the on the close now we can see the little bit of wetness effect uh, on the on the closer so that's that's nice so then i can get the player yep uh, yeah it's, it's like a fake wetness but the problem is now here we now got the usual problems actually we can play with these two numbers and we can get a nice result but i think in, in this case we can use a distance blend so right now we have the distance based uh, specular control so I can increase this layer and I can uh, reduce the specular values on the distance. So then uh, we we can reduce this uh, globing effect on the distance. Now it's much better. I can put the player in, inside that. I can go and we have the wetness effect on the, on the, the closer, but in the distance, we don't see anything like that. So we can use the both uh, distance blend and also the edge specular control uh, based on the press null and we can get a nice nice effect i have uh, included uh, all this modification into open land so you don't need to customize anything but if you if you're not using open land or you need to do that on your auto material let me show you how to do that so let me open my the place i'm, I'm doing that right this is my master material for open land so here we got the the material and i'm going to use the modulate specular blend so at the end at the end of the material i'm i'm, I'm, I'm trying to like modulate the specular now we have this special function uh, which actually uh, does everything so let me go into that so here we have the personal based uh, specular control basically we have a personal here and this is a multi uh, we multiply the exp exponential value and also we get the one minus because if you look at the personal so it's, it's just you can see it's the edge is a uh, one um, middle it's zero so we need the other way around that's why we use one minus naught so we we get this one and then we use cheap contrast to actually get a get a nice blend between uh, one and zero because we can see here we see a lot of gray at the edge right we can control these by parameters so you can see it's pretty easy and then uh, we use a distance blend as well. So basically we we'll multiply by this. Here we have the control based on the lerp. So we can control how, how, how effect that. And we have a detect depth function. And also we do the one minus. The reason is, and you can see here, we got the 
distance is one, but close is zero. We need the reverse. That's why we do one minus. And this is a custom function. That's true, but it's basically, uh, let me go into that. Right, basically it's a, it's a pretty simple pixel depth and we subtract a distance and, and it's basically the depth detecting algorithm I use for my own master material. You can simply reuse that and uh, use this logic and get these values and fix that. Yep, that's it. And uh, we have a control, global control at the end so I can tweak the global effect. And yeah, that's, that's all it is. And I need to thank uh, Unreal Sensei for giving me this trick and it's pretty, pretty nice. And then uh, I experimented with a little bit with the distance blend and now it's looking pretty good. Right, uh, yep. See you soon with something else.